I want to look at what I consider to be a prime example of the kind of gaslighting that we endured about Biden's mental state in the weeks running up to the debate. We saw a lot of videos, many of them, to be fair, clipped by explicitly partisan outlets like RNC Research, which should always put the viewer on high alert. But at the end of the day, you can see something's wrong, even if it's coming from a dubious source. So let's look at Biden on stage at a fundraiser with Obama and Jimmy Kimmel in L.A. in mid-June, a couple weeks before the debate. So, yeah, there's just kind of this is just kind of like the outro. They're waving goodbye to the crowd. Um, I'm just describing this for our audio listeners. Biden's sort of standing frozen in the middle of the stage. Barack Obama reaches over, kind of tugs his arm a little bit and then escorts him off stage. And it yeah, it, it looks from that angle to me like uh, it's Obama. That That's what I saw first. I saw that that cell phone clip, right? Biden being led off stage by Obama. But then I was told by the Daily Beast that this was Trump world trotting out another, quote, cheap fake video of President Biden. Um, and then linking to a video posted to X by a White House correspondent that implores me to fact check before sharing nonsense and then shows this version of the clip. Can we play that, John? So this looks like to be the official Biden, JoeBiden.com version. And then they cut to an extreme wide shot where you cannot <laughs> see what's happening whatsoever. And this yeah. is the fact check that we're supposed to uh, believe that, you know, the other one is, is a cheap fake. Someone here is trying to deceive me and it doesn't seem like it's Trump world or the New York Post. And I'm not a Trump fan. I've never voted for him or supported him, but the stuff drives me crazy. And it's exactly how we ended up in this situation. Do you think there's any hope of a course correction or some self-reflection from the people who behave this way? Uh, that, that's why I've been careful about how Biden has changed. I, cause I was at a, a conference in DC, this NatCon this week where Stephen Miller was speaking about how the democratic party, he focused up more on Democrats than the media, but you could, you could rewrite the speech to be about the media and say that there was a three and a half year conspiracy, the greatest conspiracy of all time to conceal that Biden was incompetent. And he was not running the country. And I was uh, being annoyingly pedantic and saying, well, Go back and look at him in 2021. It was the, the you weren't seeing these stories because he was not he didn't look that he didn't look and sound that bad. I I, I pulled up early sp speeches, press conferences, interviews. He was he was not as slippery. Even his Afghanistan withdrawal uh, press conference, which is one of the low points of this presidency. If you remember that the timing of that was he didn't come out and say anything immediately. It took a few days. Once he did a press conference, it was very tense, but he answered the questions fine. Something had he got worse as he got older. Uh, and so how does the media, how do the, how do Democrats regain credibility? I would think they need to be honest. And some of them are going to have to just eat crow and say, you know, I saw I, a version of the, the, this, <laughs> I'm not trying to write their speeches for them. Uh, <laughs> they might, they might have to say that. what you're starting to hear a little bit of, which is uh, he was always strong in my interactions with him, but he, he did decline. I, I, I was wrong about this. I, I think Matt, Matt Iglesias, uh, uh, now it's slow boring, had the yeah. version of this that I think if more de if, if everyone the, if, if everyone had a version of that and saying, I was basing my my takes on my limited experience and I didn't realize how bad it had gotten until later and I'm sorry for that. I don't think everyone, not everyone who reads Matt Iglesias is convinced by anything he says, but... That was convincing to me because I do think people who've been covering Biden on and off just saw a different Biden later later in the campaign. So yeah, I think there there should be some mea me culpas. I'm only just being cautious, saying I don't think you need to apologize for saying in 2020 Biden looks like he can handle the job. But if you were saying on June 26 that that he can, that, for example, I was at the debate, um, the media part of the debate in the, in the Georgia Tech uh, arena. 
the Democrat, the candidates were across the street. That's pretty typical. Secret Service guards where the debate is, media's elsewhere. And the last conversation I had with a Biden spinner before the debate was with Gavin Newsom. And I asked him, all right, you've been at the center of all the speculation that Biden will have to be replaced. Do you think that ends tonight? I was not trying to be cheeky. I really, I thought that was a potential story. If Biden looked really good, maybe that stops. If he looked really bad, here we are. We know what happened. And Newsom was just saying, yeah, that ends 100%. I, I, this is the, uh, it should have ended two years ago. The man that I, I know is very strong. I, I have the quote somewhere in front of me. I'll read your whole thing. But his answer was, I don't think squareable with what Biden did on stage. And I think there are Democrats who got way over their skis saying, don't worry about it. Who need to explain themselves? I don't think in the press. I mean, I did. I the, If you wrote a cheap fake story, uh, <laughs> you can defend it by saying, yeah, there's just a litany of clips that are out of context. But we should have been more blunt and honest that actually Biden has gotten a lot older and, and he looks really bad at these events. And I didn't tell you. Uh, it just uh, feels so kind of like it's, this, it's complicated. Uh, it feels yeah. like this feedback loop, though, because like they're yeah, yeah. the media writing these cheap fake stories. And then you've got Biden's se- press secretary going up on the podium and saying all this is cheap fake. And then normal people are just looking at these clips and seeing the reality and being told that they're being deceived by cheap fakes and then like two weeks later it's undeniable so yeah uh, and 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 i think that's it's resulted in a huge embarrassment and there's now been a shift in tone like many in the press seem to feel betrayed hey thanks for watching that clip from our show just asking questions you can watch another clip here or the full episode here and please subscribe to Reason's YouTube channel and the Just Asking Questions podcast feed for notifications when we post new episodes every Thursday.